Hello, working on a in the round multicolor stranded work project. And I noticed as I was knitting, I forgot to do the jockless round. I forgot to catch and make floats just to get all of these end pieces woven in. So I wouldn't have to go back with needle and actually weave them in. And plus, I am now seeing a little bit of a spot that I don't like where it's, the yarn is just loose in there. It's not tight. And that's because it's a piece of yarn that hasn't been woven in. There's that purple that I'm talking about. So when I pull it, you can see. So I'm going to have to weave these in to try to close any sort of blips that I don't like, especially right here. I'm going to have to line this up because it jumped. It didn't do a jogless knit. So I'm going to have to straighten that out. So to not do that anymore, what I need to do is finish this row in this navy color. Focus camera. I'm going to carry the new yarn across the back of these four stitches and then start with the new yarn and just continue it. Again, I'm going to catch the yarn that's new here in these four existing stitches and then continue with that new yarn all the way around like my pattern calls for. But I figure let me do a quick little video, remind myself in the future to do the jogless knitting, catch the floats. So to do that, I will take the new yarn and here is the current yarn on the needle. And because it's already been cut, I gotta wrap that around my finger a little, take this new yarn and put it on top of the existing yarn that I'm working with and just slide it down so it's behind the needle. See, it's just literally laying right on top. It's a pretty long tail, so let me pull some of that. Better. That way it's not so much that I have to end up cutting and tossing. So, I'm simply going to knit, which is what my pattern calls for. I'm going to knit my existing yarn. And you will not see that peach. Now to catch the next stitch, catch this peach in the next one, I'm going to pull this, come on phone, focus. I'm going to catch this peach just like that. Literally, it's already hanging in the back. I'm just going to pull it right on top get my working yarn, hold on to that tail a little bit so it doesn't fall out and I am going to knit with the yarn that I'm supposed to knit with, pull that stitch off, you can see that pink a smidge, just pull there, next stitch I'm going to Fling that back over, grab my working yarn, knit the next stitch, pull that off. I can see a little bit of pink, so I'm just going to pull those gently, and it's gone. And I'm going to pick that pink back up, get that tail out of the way. And I'm going to pull it right back on top. Again, I just pulled it right on top. Grabbing my working yarn that I'm using currently. Pull that down just to get it out of the way. And I'm just going to knit. And when you flip it over, you can see the trapped yarn not going to come out 
I can continue to weave this in going this way when I'm completely done with the sweater. But this yarn is stuck in there. Completely stuck. Move my stitch marker. Ignore that bright blue yarn. It's still connected to my project because it's a part of the pattern. But I will be using the peach or blush pink yarn moving forward on this new row. And my first three stitches, which I'll show you, are three knits. And then I can keep going with my pattern. But to flip it over, I can pull. And always give any stitch that you put a float into give it a gentle you don't need to stretch terribly just give it a little bit of a tug to make sure there's still some stretch in there so it doesn't bunch there are the floats trapped in there and these are the new stitches here but this is trapped pink yarn behind my blue completely invisible. 